Hello everybody, uh, we are the team from Croatia and today we are going to talk about the development of entrepreneurial skills through service learning. Just be before I start to talk about today's subject, I need to go a little bit back to give you a context in which uh, service learning was developing in Croatia. So service learning is not something new in Croatia, we've had it for over a decade. However, it depended on the individual efforts of some enthusiastic teachers like Nives Miklic Preradovic from University of Zagreb or Buena Chulum from University of Lieka, who were actually doing service learning, uh, trying to engage others into service learning, spreading the word about service learning and teaching others how, how to do it. They were helped by a uh, Europe Engage project who um, promoted service learning as a pedagogical approach and got more and more students, uh, faculty members, community members to hear about service learning uh, somewhere between 2014 and 2017. Uh, however, the really big boost to the service learning in Croatia came from the government of the Republic of Croatia, basically the Office for Cooperation with NGOs who in 2017 opened a call for proposals, support to the development of partnerships of civic society organizations and higher education institutions for the implementation of service learning programs. So this call was co-funded by the European Social Fund, but um, what was great about it is that it actually sent a message that government both approves and supports service learning as a pedagogical approach, which echoed all around Croatia and a lot of people got involved and got interested in service learning due to this call for proposals. So this call had one general objective, to increase the number of students with acquired practical knowledge and skills for solving specific social problems and community development. It had two specific objectives. First one, to strengthen the professional, analytical and advocacy capacities of civil society organizations through cooperation with higher education institutions. And also the second one, to establish sustainable service learning programs within higher education institutions as part of a systematic approach to strengthening the social responsibility of teachers and students. And a lot of faculties and a lot of NGOs responded to this call. Uh, Basically, over 150 eligible project proposals were received. A lot of them had really high ratings. However, due to the budget restrictions, only 27 of them were granted. So one of these 27 granted projects was the PSI. The English version of the title was the Student Support for the Integration of Marginalized Groups into Labor Market. That was run by the Institute for the Development of Labor Market uh, in cooperation with the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences uh, in Zagreb. And the goal of this project was to develop sustainable service learning programs on Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in Zagreb by engaging students in employment uh, support activities for marginalized groups. And this was to be done uh, by introduction of two elective courses that had service learning implemented within. Uh, the first course is career management and the second one is entrepreneurial skills, which is basically the subject of today's conversation. So here we are at the beginning of our story, um, considering development of entrepreneurial skills for service learning. So uh, in the summer of 2018, the teachers and NGOs received two-day training on service learning, and which led to the planning the course uh, within the fall of 2018. The structure of this elective course was decided to be 30 hours of lectures and for 45 hours of lab and field work. The course aims were first to strengthen the employability of graduate students by developing personal initiative, financial literacy and decision-making skills. 
And the second one was to develop the competences of students for designing and conducting trainings and interventions to improve entrepreneurial skills in marginalized groups by application of service learning programs. In spring of 2019, um, the course Entrepreneurial Skills was piloted. Um, service learning activities that were included were profiling, career consulting, and employment clubs. Um, the profiling was obligatory and it lasted five hours, direct contact with a client and working with or for the client. Um, and students could choose between career consulting or employment clubs to spend another five or six, uh, six hours uh, working uh, with clients and for them. 30% um, of the final course grade had to do with service learning activities. Um, 18 psychology graduate students were involved in this piloting. Uh, they had no previous service learning experience. However, most of them had some uh, experience with volunteering and what we did we basically asked them um, about uh, their service learning experience about some of them values uh, understanding um, abilities um, thoughts before and after service learning so in the summer of 2019 we got the results we could not match the codes for all 18 subjects, so we got only 14 matches. Um, and these are the results. We first asked them how prepared do they feel for the labor market. And we asked them before uh, their service learning experience at the beginning of the semester, and we asked them after their service learning experience at the end of the semester. As, as, and as you can see, the difference is um, significant, uh, so they feel significantly more prepared for the labor market after uh, having the service learning experience within the entrepreneurial skills course. Uh, and more importantly, you can see here that the effect size is quite large, so this is um, huge. Uh, of course, we could not be sure whether entrepreneurial skills were the only course that did this change right so possibly another course could also help them to be prepared and more prepared for the labor market so we specifically asked them okay um how did entrepreneurial skills contribute to your level of preparedness and as you can see uh students um, this is the percentage of their answers students um, generally believe that it was uh, that entrepreneurial skills greatly contributed to uh, their preparedness for the following project work, to their level of preparedness to work with uh, beneficiaries. Uh, and there, there is somewhat um, smaller contribution to the level of preparedness for entering the labor market. We also asked them um, to assess their uh, level of understanding uh, how service learning is useful for students, uh, how is it useful for civic partners, how is it useful for teachers, and how important it is critical thinking for the service learning in general. And as you can see, uh, all of these um, differences were statistically significant. So the t tests were somewhere between 228 and uh, 302. Uh, they were all significant and the effects wise, the sizes were moderate. So basically they had um, some greater understanding of how service learning could be uh, useful for the student civic partners teachers um, after the experience of service learning. And they really understood and this, this difference was uh, the effect size of this difference was the largest, uh, how important it is uh, to think uh, critically um, to do service learning right. Um, 
we were quite disappointed because there were no differences between some specific knowledge, skills and abilities. We could observe this um, trend, however, no differences uh, between several levels of uh, knowledge, of skills, of abilities were um, significant. For example, I don't know, problem solving, for example, um, presentation skills, for example, understanding um, differences between people. The only thing that was statistically significant um, and the effect size was not quite as large were the communication skills that got better with um, after the service learning experience. So, as we can see from the results, uh, the course entrepreneurial skills got some important changes within students that were expected and that were relevant. Um, we got students more prepared for the labor market. Uh, they now they understand better how service learning is good for them, for the community, and how important is critical thinking for the success of service learning. Uh, they also got better in their communication skills. Uh, however, um, this course did not change some other knowledge, skills or abilities that were supposed to happen um, regarding the service learning activities um, and that were desired to be like problem solving, like um, teamwork, like um, project management and so on. So, it's good that students perceive that the course empowers both them and the beneficiaries. So we can see that from their uh, statements. Uh, it would be much better for the evaluation of this course if we could actually get the answers from the beneficiaries. However, this was not possible within this uh, project um, to see how they are contented with this uh, method. and. What we could see from also their uh, answers, um, perhaps we should uh, reconsider the required amount of time spent in the local community. Possibly this 10, 11, 12 hours that were spent with the clients and working with the clients for the clients um, was not enough to make the change we wanted to achieve, so possibly this is something could be done differently. So, what do we have now? 27 projects dedicated to service learning were conducted within the last two years all around Croatia. Basically, more than 50 civic organizations partnered up with more than 35 higher education institutions to develop and conduct over 120 programs of service learning. Um, these programs included participation of more than 1,100 students. Most of projects provided some kind of service learning education for the participants, and not only participants, but also all those who were interested in service learning. And a lot of them published a service learning manual. So I think this is a huge promotion of service learning as a pedagogical approach in Croatia. And I saved the best information for, for the end. The, in 2019, uh, Rector Damir Boras from the University of Zagreb recognized service learning as an important pedagogical approach and established an office for service learning within the University of Zagreb. So, I think that gathering this bottom-up approach we all already had and the top-to-bottom approach that we are getting right now, I think the service learning future in Croatia is quite bright. Thank you very much.